We start in Edmonton where Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced millions of dollars today to help the city build more housing. But the provincial government was nowhere to be seen. Trudeau was asked about the absence. The mayor has been leading on this, uh, you know, and calling for a trilateral meeting between the federal government, the municipality, and the province. We know everyone has a role to play. The federal government will be there. The municipality is there. We need the province to make sure it's keeping, stepping up uh, to help the most vulnerable people uh, reach home. All right, guys. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the sneaky little liar that is Justin Trudeau, as he was just in Alberta announcing $175 million for Edmonton to help build affordable housing. However, earlier on Power and Politics with David Cochran, the minister in Alberta, uh, Jason Nixon, called out Trudeau on basically lying to the camera, saying the province wasn't there because you didn't let the province know you were going to be there. For the province's response, I'm joined now by Alberta's Minister of Seniors, Community and Social Services, Jason Nixon. Minister Nixon, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me on. Uh, normally, when a prime minister comes to a province with tens of millions of dollars for housing, people are happy. But you're upset about this today. What, what's the issue? Well, we're happy to see the government investing in uh, the federal government investing in our province when it comes to housing. We're, we're frustrated because one, uh, it's not enough. We continue to be shortchanged in this province when compared to other uh, jurisdictions. And second, it's clear that Justin Trudeau's government continues to want to work without the province. Uh, and that's that's frustrating. Uh, and I think it's very frustrating for Albertans who need us to be tackling this serious housing crisis that's been created by the federal government in a significant way. But we can't do that in a cooperative way with the federal government if they won't even talk to us again. As I said earlier today, sneaking into town at night without telling the province what's going on, uh, and then leaving, and then having the nerve to tell TV cameras that you're somehow trying to work with the province when nothing could be further from the truth, uh, clearly based on the fact that you don't even have the province at your announcement. Uh, we would like to see the house, the province uh, sit down with us on a, in a trilateral meeting on, on reaching home and on countering homelessness. Uh, we'd love to partner with them even more, like we're doing with BC, like we're doing with other provinces uh, on building homes. There's projects we already have going with them that we're working on together, but we could always do more. The better we work together on the things that really matter for Canadians, the better we deliver for them. So at the end of his statement, you see him with that smug little smile of his, but... If he really wanted to get some sort of trilateral meeting happening between the province and municipality and the federal government, I'm pretty sure he could have made it happen, uh, especially by just letting them know that he was going to be there. And this is what Minister Nixon keeps referring back to throughout this whole interview. But at this point, David starts to ask him some other questions in regards to maybe this is why he didn't want to meet with you guys. And this is what uh, <laughs> Mr. Nixon had to say about Stephen Guibault, which was hilarious to me. But the main point is this. The prime minister says he wants to work with us. We've been reaching out to the federal government to do a pretty significant housing deal, similar to what you see in B.C. and Quebec. Uh, and it, crickets. Uh, we hear that they may eventually come to the table. The prime minister indicated that today. But for him to look at the cameras and say with a straight face that he's working with this province uh, when he doesn't even let us know he's in town and is continuing to uh, refuse to do a housing deal inside Alberta uh, is ridiculous. Well, do you think any of that is, is sort of, you know, we've had Premier Daniel Smith on this show many times. She has called Stephen Gilbo a menace. She called for him to be fired. She's attacked the federal government policies on any number of issues. Uh, I mean, is there not a two-way street on this, Minister? Well, Stephen Gabo is a menace. He's continued to move forward with multiple unconstitutional policies that have been torn down by the Supreme Court, and I suspect that multiple more will be torn down. That's another example of why it's outrageous that the Prime Minister would come to Alberta and did not even bother to inform the Premier that he was here uh, and sit down and talk about those important issues. But Albertans and Canadians need us to put this all aside, and so for me, this is not a partisan issue. Our job is to handle the biggest crisis of our time, which is housing. It's created by this federal Liberal government, but we could put that behind us and instead come to the table able and have a meaningful work to be able to create more doors for Albertans and Canadians. And right now, from what I see from this Prime Minister and his government, they have no intention of working with Alberta in a meaningful way. Uh, we'll continue to call upon them to do so, uh, and we are prepared to continue to put big money in when it comes to housing in Alberta, uh, but we need the Alberta go or the federal government to show up uh, and participate uh, and not continue to come here and have press conferences with uh, hollow announcements. Now, I found this to be kind of a strange question as, uh, you know, Danielle Smith, even Jason Nixon here can have whatever views they want on a particular person like Stephen Guibault. That doesn't mean that Justin just ignores a whole province because they have a different view on one of his cabinet members. Again, he's the prime minister of Canada. He's not the prime minister of the liberals only. 
So even the conservative voter base is still his responsibility. But with that question aside, I do like that David ended up challenging Nixon on the whole child care situation that Alberta is dealing with in terms of holding on the funds. And I feel like Nixon's response was pretty good. But also he makes a valid point about how Trudeau pivoted into this question when answering another question. Okay, well, you heard what the Prime Minister said there today, uh, Minister, that uh, they did go there and get to work on, on child care deals to try to get things down to a $10 a day child care average. And the Prime Minister repeated what I've heard from Jenna Suds, who's now the minister responsible for that file, that your government is sitting on the money the federal government gave you uh, to, to build this program to lower costs and haven't put your own money into this. So you want them to work with you. But their argument is on something as essential as affordable childcare, you haven't really been living up to your end of the bargain on that arrangement. Well, the Premier in the last several days has made some adjustments to our processes here in Alberta to make sure that money can come into play uh, and has, has addressed that. But again, I will submit to you, this is an example of showing that the Prime Minister clearly doesn't want to work with us on housing. Because when he said that, he was asked a direct question about working with us on housing. Uh, and he chose to pivot to daycare, uh, which is a very important issue and a fair thing to bring up. But it shows that he has absolutely nothing to deliver for the people of Alberta when it comes to housing. And to me, if Trudeau really wanted to work with the province, he probably would have told them that he was going to be there for this. But David pushes back and says, well, maybe it's a trust issue, seeing as you guys have had these funds for so long, they probably don't want to give you more funds for something else. And uh, Minister Nixon makes a statement saying, well, if trust is the issue, we definitely don't trust them since they've been trying to destroy our biggest industry for a while now. Which I guess is sort of true when you have Stephen Guibault trying to implement all these renewable resources, you know, making statements like they're not going to be building any more roads or whatever he said. And the minister also made another valid point that I never thought of was that Alberta is becoming a new hotspot for people to move to because of the unaffordability everywhere else. Right. But, but on that, I, I mean, it, maybe there is a lack of trust, Minister, that it took this long. I mean, the, the child care deal was signed a long time ago, right? It's not like this was signed six weeks ago. Well, if we want to talk about lack of trust, we've had a federal government uh, who's been working overtime to destroy the largest industry in this country and the largest industry in our province, has lost multiple times now at the Supreme Court for measures that they've done. Uh, and certainly we don't trust them. That aside, we need to put that uh, to the side and we need to get to work on creating doors. And Alberta's government has been clear to the federal government. We are already investing in significant ways and we're prepared to invest even more in a partnership with them. But they got to stop ignoring uh, us and start supporting us the same way that we see in places like BC or Quebec. Uh, and, and that is unfortunate because this issue is an important issue to every province. And we have to do everything we can to be able to create housing from coast to coast. And I have to point out, Alberta is the largest growing place in the country uh, and is disproportionately taking uh, more people into Alberta right now because of the affordability crisis that you see in places like Toronto or Vancouver. So it's very important that the federal government gets to work with us and, and puts uh, aside uh, their partisan issues uh, and creates more houses for Canadians. Now, as I just stated, this is something I actually didn't even think about, but makes total sense. You know, you have all these prairie provinces or rural areas that are going to have lower costs for houses versus the cities or the areas around the main cities where the houses are so much. So if there's an influx of people to Alberta, you're going to need an influx of houses built, which means more funding. And uh, David asks him, well, BC just signed a deal where, you know, they'll put in $2 billion and the federal government will match that. Is that something you guys be interested in? And Mr. Nixon said, yeah, for sure. We just kind of need to hammer out the details, get all the information. But that Trudeau needs to work with them and stop being so partisan about the whole situation. I know you suggested to, in your letter to Sean Fraser, the federal housing minister, that you want to work with them on something like this. I mean, what's stopping you from building it and then inviting them in? Like, how, like I, know, I accept there's a lack of trust. We see it all the time. We've talked about it on this program many times. But there is a shared interest in getting houses for Canadians. So how do you move past this now, uh, Minister, uh, now that everyone is sort of like taking shots at each other today? Well, we have similar programs to what's taking place in BC and other mechanisms that we could do, I think, to amplify what's taking place in BC here in Alberta. And we are open uh, to a deal. I made that clear to Mr. Fraser a, a couple weeks ago in a very productive bilateral meeting uh, in, in Calgary. We need a little more detail on what actually uh, has taken place in BC to fully answer that question. But we are, the door is wide open for that conversation that's made 
as has been made clear. But I also be clear, it's also been made clear for about a year uh, to the federal government that Alberta wants to invest in partnership with them uh, when it comes to housing. And we have not ha seen any significant movement from the federal government. And why you see frustration in Alberta today is the prime minister, the leader of the country, flew into Edmonton, Alberta, and said that Alberta does not want to work on housing and that they need us to come to the table. And we have been at the table. And what really needs to happen is we need the prime minister's cabinet to show up and get to work with Alberta to solve this problem for our province. And you know, as I stated towards the beginning of the video, Justin Trudeau is the Prime Minister of Canada. The whole thing, not just the Liberal areas or the Liberal provinces or whatever the case may be. So yeah, you're going to have to work with people that you might not agree with and stuff like that. But you know, seeing Nixon, Danielle Smith, all these people that are kind of level-headed makes me want to move to Alberta even more. But Maybe I'll wait till some more houses are built. But again, this is just my opinion. Love to hear from you guys what you thought about this. Let me know in the comment section below as always. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks so much.